Hey, welcome back to another video. Uh, last video that I posted was about resetting your SRS light on a Honda um, OBD1 or OBD2. But uh, in this video, I want to give you a few pointers in uh, troubleshooting and figuring out what's wrong with your Honda SRS system, airbag system, if that uh, reset uh, process didn't work. If you uh, try to reset it and the light just doesn't go out or the light comes back. So uh, let's get into it. I have a few pointers for you. All right, so we're looking at the passenger front footwell. And down here, there is this two pin plug. It's uh, plugged up there in a little, little holding slot. You unplug it. And then what you want to do is get your jumper out. This is the same jumper as the uh, the airbag jumper. Um, but if you don't have one of these, you can just grab a, a paper clip and go ahead and jumper the two wires together. And that's with the key off. So I have the key off with the jumper jumped. Turn the key on. SRS light is that one right there and I don't have any current faults so with the jumper jumped my SRS light just flashes but if you have a fault such as like a bad airbag or a bad sensor it will flash a series of flashes that will indicate a code a long flash is like a uh, a tens position like five long flashes and then nothing would be 50 and then short flashes um, like at that speed right there those are um, That denotes the number in the ones position. So if you were to have like 10 long flashes and one short flash that would be a 10-1 or if you had uh, five long flashes and three short flashes that would be 5-3 and there is a list of SRS codes that I will go ahead and put down in the description below and all you have to do is look at the codes and see which ones yours uh, are flashing and follow the repair procedures uh, to go along with that. So overall it's a fairly simple procedure. OBD1 vehicles are very simple to work on with really no special tools required. Uh, that jumper that you jump in the passenger side footwell is also the jumper you would jumper to run your check engine light code. So OBD1 vehicles are actually pretty handy um, as far as Honda goes uh, in terms of diagnosing and fixing your vehicle. So I'll put the list of trouble codes in the description below. And uh, most of the repairs are fairly obvious, like if you have a bad airbag, you replace the airbag. Uh, and once you have done your repairs, you want to go ahead and do the reset procedure that I outlined in the uh, previous video. I'll also link that in the description below. Uh, one trouble code in particular that I was having issues with was the 10-1. And that means that the computer module has a hard code um, set in it saying that it's deployed the airbags and it needs to be um, replaced or uh, reset. There are some online services that you send your control module to and they will reset it and um, be good to go. Uh, but anyways, I had to end up going to the junkyard and I went and found a, uh, a unit that had been, um, you know, it's just kind of a crapshoot when you go to the junkyards. You, you can't run your tests on the unit there, so you just have to buy it, take it back, put it in your system and hopefully the uh, that module has not set off any airbags and it will clear your code so um, I actually when I when I got this car it did not have an SRS module in it so I went to the junkyard bought a unit brought it back plugged it in uh, tried to reset the codes it wouldn't reset uh, when I was jumping the yellow plug in that series of on off on off the uh, code just wouldn't respond um, so when I uh, jumpered the passenger footwell plug I found out that the computer module was saying hey I've, I've set off some airbags already um, I need to be replaced or reset uh, so I ended up going back to the junkyard exchanging 
the uh, SRS module that I had gotten previously with another one and fortunately that one was all good to go um, had not set off any airbags before and I plugged it in reset uh, did the reset procedure and it's good to go um, some of these Accords um, or generations of Hondas are kind of tricky because they span from OBD1 to OBD2. My 1995 Accord is an OBD1, of course. Uh, 96 was the first year of OBD2. So when looking for an airbag module, I needed to find a 94 to 95 Honda Accord. And uh, that was kind of a trouble to find. But uh, you, may, you, uh, you may come across the same thing or similar issues like if you have a Del Sol, they, they also branched from or extended from OBD1 to OBD2. Uh, so just go ahead and uh, do your research. Um, I actually had two different part numbers for the SRS modules that I found. One was like the first revision of it and then the uh, current one in it right now is like the second revision of the uh, SRS module for the OBD1 Accords. And I'm going to go ahead and put the part numbers down below. Um, if that helps anyone, I was just doing some research and uh, kind of found it a little hard to find information on what was actually going wrong with mine. Um, but like I said, OBD-1 systems are fairly simple. The airbag systems in this are fairly simple. It's really just power to the system, a, a G-force sensor, and then power wires to the uh, dashboard and to the steering wheel airbag. Anyways, that'll be it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this helps a few of you out there. Uh, I was doing a lot of research on this, kind of going in circles, figuring it out for myself. And I wanted to pass this information on to uh, anyone in the future that uh, has the same problem that I did. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, give this video a like. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Hit that notification bell. And I will catch you with a new video later.